Our story begins 50 feet from New York City. Five Hudson Road, Bellrose is where Brian had his lair. Sometimes, when summer did not come quickly enough for Brian, he would take his towel and lie out on the backyard basking. Brian cared little about the conventions of suburban life. If he landed on his towel askew, he would go with the flow. The grass felt good, too. Of course, there was a before Brian, but he could tell from the way people looked at him, from the way they talked to him, that he was the center of their universe. He became the third in a small gang, and though small himself, no one could wear a bow tie better than he. His father, Wade, was his mentor in photography and other things, would take him on journeys to share the joy of viewing the world through a lens. And from that time, no bird has been safe from having their soul captured for eternity by Brian's lens. Of course, even Brian could not live by lens alone. There were other things that tickled his fancy. Yes, things, but also living things. Life continued to pass with the grace and enjoyment that family will bring. And Brian's interest in other beings began to focus on the female. But even the example of his beautiful mother could not prevent certain mistakes from being made. But Bri was not deterred. He was scheming. He was thinking. He cleaned up. He was looking. He was feeling. And he felt it. With Karen of Pontremoli. He found it. He felt it. There was only one thing to do. Yes, this was love. It was official. He was grounded. Life could go on. Out and forward till right about now. Now there's time for the finer things in life, for relaxing, for philosophical discussions. He was there for the important moments. father being 60. <laughs> Not so much you. 
there is a milestone attached to it. <laughs> well, I'm thinking of how my white hair is like exactly like Wade's. <laughs> back at me in the mirror makes me think about him Ha, ha, ha.